Hey dudes, Ariaki here, and in this video I am doing uh, a horror map, a Minecraft horror map. It's been a while since I've done this. The last one I did was the... Ah, oh, forget what it's called. It was the Orphanage. The Orphanage, that's it. Okay, so this one is called... Um, uh, I don't know, I forget, I forget what's cool, what's cool. Okay, so it should say here, or it should say there. Okay, I don't know, I'm just going to read this. Welcome to Therapy, yes, that's the name, Therapy, a horror map by B Beta the Data. Oh no, a wall of text appeared. I recommend you read all of these signs, they help a lot. Do not move during any cutscenes, otherwise bugs, blah blah blah, resource maps, jump scares, button on the ceiling, better gameplay experience. Wait until sounds finished before for crystals, clouds off, brightness, moody. Um, well, I'm playing on shaders, so I'm going to have brightness on bright, because shaders does make the brightness go down a lot. When pressed, wait out the lag, then press the next button. Have fun. Make sure all sounds are 100%. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want to ruin my ears. But um, I will turn them up, because they are pretty silent at the moment. Um... Ah, uh, okay. So, wait, I, I just need to get this intriguing. I probably should have done this before, but I'm sorry. Just blame yourselves. Blame yourselves. Uh, okay, that was jaggy. <laughs> blame yourselves. <laughs> okay. Well, it's actually not that silent. I just had to turn up my speakers a bit. So, let's play. Okay, once a lag is stopped, press the button to start. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. When you're ready to listen to the tape, uh, sit down on a chair and press play on the recorder. Um... Okay, um, um, I think this is how I see it. No, no, you can't sit down in Minecraft. I'll turn the lights out so you can see the screen better. Is, that looks like my speaker. Oh boy! Good morning, my name is Dr. Ian. I will be in charge of your therapy from now on. I've already read your file, but I'd like to hear the story directly from you. What would you prefer to be called in these sessions? Jim. Okay, Jim, let's start, shall we? I want you to explain to me what happened on the night of the incident. You won't believe it. The other five therapists didn't. I'm not here to believe, Jim. I'm here to listen. This is looking to be a very creepy map. It originated from when I was nine years old. That was over twenty years ago, but I still remember that night like it was yesterday. It was quarter past two in the morning. I woke up. I could feel something watching me. Lightning Whoa. struck near my windows. A silhouette of a man was projected across the room. That was when I got out of bed and went to my parents' room, which was across the hall. There was something wrong about this. The bed was made perfectly. Not a single crease. I thought that they might be watching TV in the living room, so I went to investigate. Um. I flushed the toilet. That always annoyed them. <laughs> okay. Um, I cannot see anything. All of the lights in the house were off except mine. I wasn't tall enough to reach the light switches yet. What is that? What does that sound? I cannot see anywhere. Maybe I can take this torch with me? I don't know. I don't know. I cannot actually see. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn off my shaders for a second. Okay, now I can see. That is better. That is better. Okay. That got done. Oh my flop. The moment I saw it, it scared me. Well, yeah, well, of course it scared you, mate. Okay, you know what? Less than a second, and I haven't heard a more horrifying scream since then. There were no words in my mind that could even describe them. Okay, you know what? what Maybe I'm not going to play with shaders. I continued to the living room on the right to search for my parents. It's too dark. The living room was dark, but I could tell my parents weren't there. So I continued to check the rest of the house for them. You know what? Y'all are... Um, whoops. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Okay. And eh, you know, I can't, I can't. 
I can't make up my mind. I turned on the television to see if the last channel that they watched would give me any What the heck? They were. I turned on the television to see if the last channel that they watched would give me any clues as to where they were. Okay, that's enough all around, let's go. Um, okay, well, that's happened. Um, always with dark. It felt like something I entered was the study. down the back what? of my neck. There was a small blood splatter on the floor. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It was strange, just there was nothing around to cut yourself on. It gave me the urge to check the kitchen. I remembered the stair gate. I always <coughs> used to sneak downstairs at night to eat all of the food in the fridge. So my dad put in a stair gate and locked it at night. They kept a key in the attic. They knew I would never go up there. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. I don't want to. I, I never wanna... liked the attic. It was dark. The light had been broken for years. Even my dad didn't want to go near spiders that big. I knew they hid the key in one of the chests somewhere. I can't find it. Where's the key? Aha! Key! Something was wrong. The spiders shouldn't have been moving around that much. No, 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 no. I remember Flop. hearing a door slam. No, 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 no. My parents weren't upstairs. No, no, no. And I didn't hear the stair gate open. No, no, no. No. Hello? Can I can I Oh boy. Hello? The footsteps started to fade away. I didn't know whether or not it left, but I started to walk towards the exit anyway. I'm getting out of here, mate. I don't want to stay in here. Whew. Oh, I feel it's almost over. Okay. Oh my gosh, no, flop. I unlocked the stair gate, and I heard a bellowing roar from downstairs. It might have been nothing. You Maybe don't just my say. Imagination. I really felt like returning to bed, but I continued no, no, anyway. No. <sighs> I didn't recognize this place. This wasn't my house. I checked to see if I was dreaming by pinching myself. Oh my gosh, the pain was me. all too real. The hallway seemed to go on forever, but I could see something at the end. I continued onwards. Go, 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 go. And there they were, my parents, slumped up against the wall of an empty room that I didn't recognize. Lifeless. There was blood everywhere. I tried to cry. I tried to scream. But I couldn't. My breath. My soul. Nothing could escape my body. Not even a tear. It was too much to take in. I heard a noise behind me. I couldn't take my eyes off my parents, but I knew I had to turn around. I had to see the thing that did this to them. I looked down the hallway, and there was nothing to be seen. No lights, no doors just darkness. As I moved further and further down the hallway, I thought, could this just be some horrible dream? A deranged nightmare? A trick? No, it can't be. I started to feel it again. The breathing on the back of my neck. I froze. I couldn't move. I started to turn around. I couldn't control it. I just started turning. 
There was no noise, just silence and the darkness. The darkness was what scared me the most. The only thing keeping me from shutting my eyes was the anticipation, even though I knew what was behind me. It let out a deafening scream, and then it disappeared again. And then the feelings came back. I could feel the pain again. I started to feel dizzy. Then darkness, nothingness, no feeling, no fear, just the dark. This is amazing. This I woke is up with a sharp pain on the back of my head, and surrounded by the police. I lived with my aunt from then on. Not even a, a month after I moved in with her, she sent me here. I don't blame her. Even I wouldn't have been able to put up with the screaming. And that's where you punched the tape recorder. So, do you believe it? Of course I believe it, Jim. It was a very interesting story. Can I ask you one thing, Doctor? Ask away, Jim. Why did you come here? I requested dozens of other therapists, and you were the only one to come. Ah, that's where this gets interesting, Jim. I wanted to hear the story from your point of view. My point of view was rather, let's say, dull. Wait, what do you mean by your point of view? Well, Jim, waiting outside your house for days on end, watching you and your parents, seems rather boring in my opinion. I've already said too much. I think it's time to, let's say, tie up loose ends. Therapist? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, I'm fighting back. Oh boy, I can't throw a fight back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. That was a cool map. That was fun. Thanks for playing. Sorry for any bugs that you experienced. If you have any questions, please tweet them to no one. Hi, Declan. Told you I could do it in 72 hours. I hate you. I hate you, you stupid little joker guy. How dare you? How dare you? Well, that was therapy or therapist or therapesia or the trichondriac. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So let's have some Minecraft. Just have some fun in Minecraft. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then beat up the like button and see.